Hello, this is Borna from Borna.tv and I'm going to talk about WWDC again. This time I'm going to talk about Mobile Me. Mobile Me is a new service which was announced by Apple, which is going to be under the domain name me.com or mobileme.com. This service will allow you to have push email calendaring and contacts to all of your devices, Apple devices, of course. Um, you can store your information up in the cloud, essentially. And you're probably been wondering, well, what about .Mac? Well, MobileMe will replace the .Mac service. So um, there is not a whole lot of new things here other than the interface and the way that it synchronizes. You have a rich email experience where you have this Web2.0 Web is what they call it. Uh, it's basically a rich client on a browser where you can drag and drop messages much like uh, much like Yahoo Mail and some of the other rich internet experiences out there. Uh, one of the coolest features I saw with the mob with the email in the browser was that there's a quick reply button where you just click on quick reply and a little window pops up and you can reply to email right in that window. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, has real-time focusing with the keyboard in the contacts area. So if you're in your contacts, you can just start typing someone's name and it automatically jumps to it in the browser. So that's cool. Uh, there's iPhoto-like uh, functionality within the gallery area. And I'm not talking about all these features in detail because it's the same thing as .Mac except they've upgraded it. Um, there's a complete online interface for iDisk. Uh, you can share files instantly. Now, one of the cool things about, you know, with respect to the iPhone is that you can send your photos from your photo library on your iPhone directly to your mobile me gallery so if you take a picture you want to share it you can share it that way it's going to be $99 per year uh, they're offering a 60-day trial it's going to be available in early July um, and uh, it's going to replace dot mag and this is the part where I kinda don't like it they're only going to give you 20 gigabytes of storage in this day and age, 20 gigabytes is a drop in the bucket. That's that's not a lot of space. So it, 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 this is something. Um, uh, I don't know what Apple. I don't know what Apple was thinking with mobile me. I don't know what kind of a market they're appealing to. But if it were me, I would want. If I'm paying a $99 a year charge. I'm going to want more disk space, especially if I'm going to be storing all my photos up there, if I'm going to be storing all my email up there, if I'm going to be storing files up there. I can eat through 20 gigabytes just with the file. So to me, mobile me, the benefit comes in synchronizing all your devices. I think that's where the big benefit comes from. Online storage just is not working for me. That's just not enough space. Um, so dot mac was worse than this I, I guarantee you dot mac was worse in my mind but they've they've upped the the value a little bit but to, in my opinion it's still not completely worth it mobile me me.com from apple which was announced at wwdc 2008 in the keynote i hope they improve the disk space and up it for their sake because it's my opinion that it's not enough all right this is Borna from Borna.tv, and that is mobile me